there's an actual science behind a winning mindset. And some local scientists are at the center of a groundbreaking study on that, as well as our social status. Joining us now with the science on brain coding is Kana Batra from the Salk Institute. Good morning to you, Kana. Thanks for being here. Good morning to you, too. Thank you for having me. All right, tell us about this uh, fascinating study here, especially when it comes to a winning mindset. I mean, everybody uh, wants to be a, a winner, right? So what did you guys learn? So just to give you a bit of context, most animal species that organize themselves into groups for survival and naturally a social hierarchy is established amongst them, right? So the goal of this study was to understand how the social hierarchy is represented in the brain, specifically this region known as the medial prefrontal cortex and whether what, what can we learn from it and how it affects our behavior in different situations. So an example that I like to give a lot is that of a party where you're at a party and you're, you're reaching out for that last slice of pizza. And at the same time, someone else is also reaching out for the same slice of pizza, right? Now, if it's your boss, it's very likely that you will retract your hand. Whereas if it was your sibling, you're, you're, it's more likely that you'll, you'll have a slice and not let them have it. So it's almost like your brain is tuned to different social environments and different people around mm. you and will guide your behavior accordingly. The winning mindset or the competitive mindset is, is a really cool thing that we found that we can predict the outcome of, of a social conflict even before it starts. It was fascinating. And we, we thought of this from a winning mindset perspective that if you're in a certain brain state, if you're more anxious, more hungry, just feeling a different way, then you might not even let your boss have a slice of pizza on that particular day. Interesting, interesting. So, okay, so why is this important that we know what it takes for this this mindset? Why, why important to study something like this? Well, there's there's two aspects to this. The first is, well, we, in, when we're in different social situations, we often don't realize how our behavior is changing. Again, using the pizza example, if you, you don't realize that you're acting differently with respect to your boss versus with respect to your peers, even the consciously of relationship in your head would be completely different. Um, and this is very natural of us. So a study like this is, a, is like gets us a, it basically gives us a window into this more powerful analysis of like how the brain works and how it's affecting our behavior in bigger groups when you have other components from your past, such as your social history, your anxiety, a lot of other factors, how they play a role in this. So it, 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 it helps, helps us understand those things better. The other aspect is probably going to be a more like neuropsychiatric perspective where we can study things like social anxiety and how how we can think like come up with better therapeutic solutions for them. And how is social hierarchy represented in the brain? What did you guys learn about that? Right. So we found quite a few things. One thing that we found was that the this particular this brain region, the MPFC. It's, it's almost tuned to your relative social rank. So like if you're in a group of your peers, it will it will give you that signal that, oh, I'm with my peers. And the moment your boss walks in, it will like take on a completely different brain state. And then of course, guide behavior accordingly. That's one thing that we found, that relative rank is almost always there. Another thing that we found was that we can predict moment by moment behavior using the brain activity from this region uh, when it comes to social interactions, which is also very cool. Awesome. Connor, where can people learn more about uh, what you guys found out? Well, you can learn more about this on our lab website, thailab.org, or the institute website, soft.edu. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming on here. Fascinating stuff. Thanks, Connor.